Mexico, the U.S., and Canada signed the agreement more than three years, more than a year ago. Lobbyists tried to get an Indigenous chapter, but instead were left with just a short paragraph, 32.5. Wayne Garnon's Williams, seen here on Nation to Nation in December, says it comes into play in a dispute between a foreign entity and an inherent right. Who wins in that? Does the international trade agreement win? Or does the inherent right or the, the, the specific right win? And no one can answer that because this never happened before. But the problem is it could fall either way. So as an assurance, 32.5 was created to ensure that Indigenous rights are uh, basically have the, the superseding power when there's a dispute uh, in NAFTA.